So today we're going to be going over seven extraordinary designer vanilla fragrances that you're basically guaranteed to get along with. And you know what's funny about that is vanilla is such an easy to get along with fragrance note. Because if you look at other specific fragrance notes out there, like for example, ouds, vetivers, patchoulis, tobaccos, that sort of thing, there's going to be, you know, maybe some designer fragrances that you'll you'll like with those particular notes because they're going to be notes that are you know, not quite as heavy and strong, but then you go over to the niche side of things and you smell a, a vetiver or tobacco fragrance or a patchouli fragrance and you may absolutely hate it. But with vanilla, I haven't really found too many vanilla fragrances that are like off-putting. Now, if you don't like that note or you don't like sweeter fragrances and obviously you're not gonna like them designer or niche, but if you like vanilla fragrances, You'll probably like designer ones and you'll probably like niche ones as well. So this particular video, again, we just have designers, but uh, even on the niche side, there's going to be quite a few out there that I think a lot of you would like. So let's kick things off with Armani Code Absolute. Vanilla, suede, tonka bean, and orange are some of the main notes. It's uh, one of the best Armani Code flankers, in my opinion. The vanilla in here is done so well and it mixes incredibly well with the other notes. You get a creaminess from the orange, you get the suede note in here adding a little bit of a, a masculine touch because this is primarily sweet, a little bit of a balance. You get the tonka bean which gives it a little bit of a powdery smell. It's really nice. It's warm, it's inviting, it's cozy. It's a really nice fall and winter or cooler weather scent. It's also a really nice evening date fragrance. So it is a little bit similar to Armani Code Profumo. They share some similar notes. They have kind of a similar thing going on. However, I find Profumo overall to be a little bit more juvenile, a little bit more playful. That fragrance is also much more loud and strong. Now you could wear that one on dates if you wanted to, if you just toned back your sprays, but the delivery between this and Profumo are quite different. So I would say if Profumo is maybe a little bit too playful, a little bit too loud for you, check out Absolute. It's kind of like, uh, you know, if Armani Code Profumo was in his early 20s, Armani Code Absolute is in his 30s, right? He's grown up a little bit more, he's a bit more mature, he's a bit more knowledgeable. That's kind of how this one comes across. Great, great vanilla fragrance from a leading designer brand. Can't make a vanilla video without putting this one in here, Club Black by Mercedes-Benz. So this one has caught a lot of hype and normally when that happens, you'll have a lot of people who are loving it, but then a lot of people who dislike it as well. So just to make it clear, vanilla heavy scent. If you don't like vanilla, you have no business buying this to be honest, because I've seen that comment as well. Oh, you recommend that highly and I tried it and I hated it. And their collection probably consists of all freshies and blue fragrances. So you kind of got to use a little bit of common sense here to make the decision if you're going to want to buy this or not. People who like sweet fragrances, people who like vanilla fragrances, you're going to love this one. It's just impossible not to. Has vanilla, benzoin, ambroxan in here. Smells absolutely divine. Uh, this one is more vanilla centric than Armani Code Absolute in my opinion. You just get hit with it much more, much stronger. It's a syrupy vanilla, but you also get a dusty vanilla as well from the benzoin. The ambroxan in here gives it kind of a sparkle. So don't see the ambroxan note and think that this is a blue fragrance with vanilla. Uh, all that's doing is adding a kind of a bright sparkling pop up top and it works really well with the vanilla. This here all in all is absolutely incredible. It's so gorgeous, so well done and comes in at a very competitive price point. You wouldn't expect something this good from a car fragrance brand, but they hit it nail on the head. Absolutely stunning. Next up, we've got Armani Stronger With You Intensely. Toffee, vanilla, and cinnamon are some of the main notes. Really nice one here. Now, could have also put Armani Stronger With You Absolutely. The problem with that, for whatever reason right now, and well, it has been since it's came out, it's hard to get here in the US. Not everyone wants to track things down and order stuff from overseas. Things can get lost, it can be expensive, that sort of thing. So uh, just in efforts of making this video uh, obtainable for you guys, so you can go out and purchase each and every one of these if you wanted to, I'm throwing this one in instead. But if you have your hands on Armani Code Absolutely, or you're able to get it easily, that one also is top notch. So the toffee gives off this semi gourmand type of aspect about it. You get a lot of that vanilla and you also get the cinnamon as well, which is giving it a nice spiciness off the top. It opens up great with a lot of sweetness. The cinnamon kind of gives it almost this uh, 
fall time you know it smells like autumn just because of like a cinnamon apple type of thing going on but it can also work great in winter time as well just cooler weather this one is great for Next up, we've got Lamal Le Parfum. This one has vanilla, cardamom, and lavender, some of the main notes. So this is really one that has risen to the top for me, one that I enjoy so much. I'll always love Ultramail. I'll always love the original, just from a nostalgic standpoint. It always will smell great. But this Le Parfum, this is really, really impressive. So the cardamom gives it a spiciness. You get that clean lavender smell and a whole lot of sweetness from the vanilla. And what's nice about this one compared to everything else and everything in this video in general, they all have vanilla, but they all smell different. And it is kind of different types of vanilla being used between these. And it's the notes that the vanilla is used with to make it smell different. So you have a lot of variety, a lot of things to choose from here. So for this one in particular, if you're after kind of a, a vanilla scent, but with a spiciness and uh, maybe a bit more of a kind of masculine edge, check out Le Mole Parfum. Next up, a fragrance that absolutely blew my mind when I first smelled it. And to this day, I still just think it's incredible. Love it. This one is Mustache Eau de Parfum by Rojas. Just an absolute Stunner. This one has vanilla, benzoin, pink pepper. Wow. Just, just amazing. I could smell that all the time. I really could. It's so unique, you know? It's just such a different smell. And for people who have smelled a lot of things and maybe you get bored and maybe you're getting bored of the fragrance hobby because a lot of things smell similar, Check out this one and you're going to be falling in love with the hobby all over again. Now, to be fair, this does smell very similar to Yves Saint Laurent Tuxedo. Tuxedo did come first, but that one is also much more expensive. So this is not like 100% original from the brand, but the scent DNA is very original. Yves Saint Laurent did it first, I understand, but not everyone wants to pay that. And for me, this one here definitely gets my stamp of approval. Clones is something you can get down the rabbit hole with, but I think this one is done in an absolutely incredible way. Everything from the, the amazing scent quality to the great performance on my skin to the quality of the bottle, the presentation, absolutely one of the best fragrances for men on the market and one of the best vanilla fragrances as well. Amazing. Up next, we have a fragrance that you've probably never seen talked about, never heard of. And again, that's my goal on the channel. People say, include new stuff. You talk about the same thing all the time. Well, I've, I've spent a lot of money on crap. So if you think it's easy to go out and discover new things, then have at it. But I've bought so many things that looked good on paper and you get it and you almost want to throw it away because it sucks. So that's why it can be hard to talk about new things. But here's a new thing for you. Actually, the fragrance is not new, but it's not a hype monster from Azaro. This one is Azaro Elixir, or Azaro Pour Homme Elixir. Vanilla, pear, tonka bean, and black currant are some of the main notes. Quite an interesting note breakdown. Has a little bit of that Azaro Pour Homme classic type of smell to it, um, but with a whole bunch of vanilla and sweetness added into it. Personally, I think this fragrance is really well done. It smells great. The quality is good. The price is even better. It's a cheapie. It's like $25 to $30. And what's also cool is the bottle's a little bit different. It's a little bit just chunkier overall. So here's a Zara Porum Intense, a little bit shorter. And when you look at it side by side, uh, this uh, elixir is just a bigger bottle all around. So kind of cool. It is 100 mil, and so is this one. They just cut down on a lot of the glass material on the newer bottles these days for obvious cost-cutting reasons. But I really like this one. It's kind of cool to have a, a different bottle. It does have some decent heft to it, especially given the price. Check this one out. It's a good performer. It's very unique. It, it's something that you don't see every day. And for the record, it smells nothing like Savage Elixir. So there you go. Last up for this video, we have the prestigious brand of Tom Ford. This one's Noir Extreme. Vanilla, Kulfi, and Cardamom are some of the main notes. What else do we got? Uh, that's all I wrote down, but there's a bunch of other notes as well. This one has a, a gourmand aspect to it from the Kulfi, from what I understand is some sort of dessert. You get the vanilla, you get a spiciness from the Cardamom. This is a Tom Ford fragrance, okay? And you know that, obviously. I just presented it to you as a Tom Ford. But the reason why I'm saying that is when you smell this, you know it's a Tom Ford scent. That's basically how it is with the whole lineup on this side of things and also the private blend side of things. A Tom Ford fragrance is a Tom Ford fragrance and you can spot it from a mile away. And why is that? One being the quality. The 
quality is fantastic. Also, just the blend and how unique it is, and just, just they just have their own character. And so trust me when I say that you won't be let down when you try Tom Ford Noir Extreme. If you're after a vanilla scent, something with a bit of a gourmand aspect, and you want untouchable, impeccable quality, and something that's very sexy, check out Tom Ford Noir Extreme. This is a fantastic vanilla scent, and one that is very popular for sure, but still, to me, is one that you can't go wrong with. Alrighty guys, I think that's going to do it for me. That is seven vanilla fragrances that you're basically guaranteed to love. These are fantastic. All of these here have their own character. They have their own special thing going on about them. And to me, are just works of art in their own way. Now let me know down below, what are some of your favorite vanilla fragrances? I'm always excited to hear from you guys. What are some that I miss? And again, there could have been a bunch of niche that I could have put in here, but I wanted to try to keep it affordable. And so with that being said, I will link all these down below so you can shop with discounters and get these for an affordable price. And also, if you want to become a channel member, you can do so by hitting the join button down below. Really appreciate the support. Big shout out to all my channel members. You guys are awesome. Been having a lot of fun in the group chat, sharing our scent of the day, been answering questions, that sort of thing. So you can check that out. You can also get access to watching these videos in advance. You can watch some vlogs, some bonus top tens, bonus reviews, all that sort of thing. So if you want even more content, if one, possibly two videos a day isn't enough, check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.